it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, October 18th. So we had the moon in her place of power in Cancer for the last couple of days. We reached that last quarter moon here yesterday afternoon, just hours with Mercury busting out of his post-shadow period, which definitely gave us a jolt, gave us some perspective, gave us some aha moments, and truly shifted the vibe, shifted the energy. We are in brand new territory now, the first time in brand new territory since late August, early September. And now we get a little bit of a forward motion, even though we are running straight forward into eclipse season. So the moon in Cancer went void yesterday afternoon, shortly after we had our last quarter moon take place. And we are locking into Leo energy very shortly into the day here today, 46 minutes in, we shift into the Leo energy. Now this is going to bring some fire definitely welcomed at this particular point in time, especially after the last couple of days of having the moon in her place of power in that watery, emotional energy of cancer. And anytime that we're moving out of cancer energy and into Leo energy, we definitely feel that shift. Fire energy brings a little bit of a spark back, a little bit of a pep in our step. We are definitely looking to lighten the vibe, be a little bit more playful. We are definitely looking to be seen, looking to be heard, a little bit attention seeking if we're not careful, because we want to stand out. We want attention. We want all eyes on us because we've been stuck in our inner realms for quite some time and we have formulated a plan on what it is that we think, what it is that we feel, and it's time for us to share that with the world. So we're definitely a little bit expressive and with fire energy, we're definitely pushing ourselves forward and we are looking to create something new. So we have six different aspects here today, which is relatively quiet in the cosmos. We have four of them involving the moon. And I will say Tuesday being ruled over by Mars, that gives us the physical energy, the drive, the passion, the desire, the force in order to push forward to jump into something new. And Mars actually makes a couple of very key important aspects here today, which we will cover in just a bit, which really just kind of emphasizes that we are making a shift. We should be feeling this emotionally, mentally, physically, and we should be seeing the changes, the transformations of that energy actually manifest in our physical realm. So while the moon is still in cancer energy, but void of course, meaning very shaky, very unstable, very uncertain, we do have the moon making a very positive aspect with Uranus, the great awakener. Now, this is good because yesterday with that last quarter moon in Cancer with Mercury shifting out of his post shadow period, again, we should have got a jolt of energy. We should have had a perspective shift. We should have had our attention be pushed from the past to the future. Now, Uranian energy is the higher octave of our intelligence, which means that our minds are open, we're getting downloads, we're getting aha moments, we're getting new ideas, new inspirations, new dreams, new visions. Yes, Uranus is retrograde in Taurus energy, but because the moon in Cancer is very introverted as well in our inner realms, because that's what retrogrades are all about, we are very reflective. And because of this, we're making some very important connections, snapping some puzzle pieces together in our thoughts and in our emotions, where new ideas are coming into play. Now, this is going to set us up, ramp us up, if you will, as we dive into the Leo energy. So we do that again, 46 minutes into the day, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And At 245, we have our very first aspect with the moon in Leo, which is a trine, a beautiful energy with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, who is retrograde in Aries energy. So we get some fire on fire action here. Now, this is a good vibe. Again, feeling the intensity, the optimism, the confidence of needing to step out, to be heard, to be seen, to jump into something new, to actually pursue these new ideas, these new dreams, these new passions, 
and deal with the ever-changing landscape, the transitional period that we are in as, again, Pluto came direct, and now we have to kind of manipulate our external realms to mirror the changes that we've been sitting with, knowing that we have to make in our inner realm. So the moon trining, blending its energy with Jupiter, this is the pep in our step that we need. This is the renewal in our spirit, in our confidence, in our optimism that we need. We are boosting ourselves up in and kind of like, you know, being a cheerleader for ourselves right now and really looking at the opportunities and the options that we have now. Yes, we're gaining a little bit of clarity. Yes, we're making a forward motion. However, keep in the back of your mind that eclipse season is just next week. Scorpio season is just next week. Saturn is going direct just next week. What does this mean? It means that we are going to have a very short window of time to actually exert ourselves and move forward, making a little bit of headway until the wild card energy of the eclipse season kicks in and sorts us out. What does that mean? It means that by the time eclipse season is over mid November, we will be on the path that we need to be pursuing, that we need to be walking, that we need to be aggressively pushing ourselves down and you know, we have to kind of expect the unexpected when we're in eclipse season. So as far as we're concerned right now, we have our eyes set on a new direction. Now, many of us may not know what the end goal is, and that's okay, because we're still experimenting with, you know, ideas and goals and visions and dreams. However, we know damn well what it is that we're not going back to. We know damn well where it is that we're not comfortable staying in, which, you know what, that is enough information at this particular point, just for us to make a move to create distance away from some situations, some ideas, some topics, some themes that we've already identified that we're done with. Okay, so we're feeling good about this. We got some pep in our step. We're feeling a little bit elated, a little bit confident. We are willing to put ourselves out there. We're willing to pursue a new idea, new path, new direction, new goal, new dream, new vision. And we're about to get the party started. However, the moon is going to interact with Neptune in, I'm not going to say the not, I'm not going to say a bad way, just not the most positive way, let's say, uncomfortable, awkward type of way. So what we got going on here is that Neptune is retrograde in Pisces energy, it's water on water, and the moon is in Leo energy, the very little bit of fire that we got going on. So it's almost like Neptune kind of snuffs out that fire, that flame just a tad. And a lot of that is because we're not aligning with our intuition. We're kind of stuck in our physical selves or ego selves, if you will, right now. Um, the Leo energy needs us to kind of be aligned with our heart and soul. And because we're in an ever changing landscape right now, the vision the dream, the intentions aren't as clear as they should be for us to actually exert this much energy to go after what it is that we want. So it's almost like we aren't taking the time to align with our intuition. We aren't taking the time to cultivate a vision and a dream. Instead, we're just kind of happy to feel good. We're happy to, you know, feel this confidence, feel this excitement. We're happy for the shift. Because of that, though, we may not have a direction, we may not really be in alignment with what it is that we're thinking and feeling, we're just kind of riding the wave, because it feels good at this particular time. Now, let me just say, we could be very, very overwhelmed with the not knowing with the want, need and desire to push forward, but not really have a plan or a strategy in place to actually follow. And that could definitely kind of knock the wind out of our sails just a tad. Now, Mercury goes ahead and bumps into Uranus in a very positive way. We're going to break this down in a couple of different ways. First of all, Mercury is the lower level intellect. Uranus is the higher level intellect. Mercury is like our, our ego based information, pulling details in, pulling data, pulling statistics from our egoic physical realm. And from that, trying to weigh the pros and cons, because again, Mercury being in, you know, this Libra energy, we have to weigh the pros and cons, see both sides of the coin, we have to debate things out, we're still very indecisive. But at the same time, 
we are applying logic and practicality to some kind of um, plan and strategy that we are looking to piece together. Uranus is the higher level intellect. It's where we connect to higher forms of intelligence. It's where ideas and visions and inspirations come into our highest level in our crown, in our mental plane. And from that, we can drop it down to that Mercury level in our lower level intellect where we try to make sense of it, where we try to say, hmm, I'm really inspired. I'm really, you know, kind of intrigued by this new idea that I just had, by this new vision that I just had. What can I do with it? How can I bring it to life? Where can I apply strategy, logic, practicality in order to actually bring it to life? Now, keep in mind that Uranus is retrograde, meaning this is an inner realm thing, right? We're having a lot of activity on the inner realm, not so much on the outer realm. And retrograde in Taurus energy. So Taurus energy is earth energy. It represents our physical bodies, our physical routines, our relationships, our money matters. It's also Venus ruled and Venus likes to give birth to and create new situations, new routines, new foundations, new ways of going about life. The Uranian energy opens us up to change our ways kind of adds a little bit of spontaneity into where it is that we're kind of fixed in our rut, if you will. And what we're getting here is a flash of insight, a flash of creativity, especially to bring a new spice, a new flair, a new perspective, a new understanding, a new way of going about things in our mundane tasks and chores. This is going to kind of add a little bit of I'm going to say excitement because we're busting out of the same old, same old. It's also kind of, you know, ramping us up with this moon and Leo energy because these, you know, this is a, a an exciting thing. We're in new territory We're we're trying to be open minded. We are open hearted and we're really just trying to test our boundaries of comfortability to see what is going to work and what isn't. So let me just say that Mercury interacting with Uranus in this way is going to amp up our crown, our mental plane. We got a lot going on there. There's a lot of pressure. We may even feel excitement, anticipation, anxiousness, restlessness. It's a central nervous system activation. So we want to be uh, a little bit mindful that with this particular aspect, and again, this is around 6.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that we're going to feel a little bit uh, intense in our inner realms. Our minds are just a spinning. We're amped up in all the right ways, and we should gain a lot of really cool insight, some really cool ideas with this particular energy. The moon is going to semi-square Mars. Now, this isn't so fun, but if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you would know that every single time we take two big steps forward, that dark force energy just kicks in to pull us on back, to take us down a couple of pegs. Now, here's the thing. We're riding high. We're feeling good. We're positive. We're optimistic. We are contemplating new ways of doing things adding a little bit of spice to our life, really pushing the boundaries of our comfortability at this point. And then the moon semi squares, which is a tension point with Mars, the God of war, the ruler over Tuesdays, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger, who is in Gemini energy, the mental plane. So what we got going on here is basically we're frustrated. Why? Because we have a lot of energy building up in our inner realms that we don't know how to exert out in our outer realms. We don't have a said task, a said step, a said move that we should be making. And, you know, the moon in Leo just wants to have fun, lighten the vibe, wants to go out and just kind of explore the world, wants to stand out, wants a little bit of attention. Mars is over here frustrated because we have all of these great ideas that we can't act upon right now. You know, what are you supposed to do when it's bedtime? You know, most of us usually get that burst of energy when we should be settling down where we, you know, somehow contemplate making a career change or we contemplate, you know, selling the house or we contemplate whatever the case may be. It always comes in nighttime form 
when realistically you can't make any moves. You can't take any action on that. So we are a little bit frustrated because this energy is, is kind of building up, triggering us, activating us, um, to take action, to make moves. And we're just not in the time of day, nor are we in the environment, nor are we in the point of planning or, or strategy to actually make a said move. So there's a little bit of frustration that comes up here. We get a huge amount of help when Venus in her place of power in Libra and energy trines, which is a beautiful interaction with Mars, the God of war, who is in Gemini energy. So this is some air on air action, but we also have to consider the fact that Venus is the feminine energy. Mars is the masculine energy. They're both in air signs. We have Venus very focused on trying to balance the scales within ourselves between our heart and our head. We have Venus very focused on reconciling the broken or fragmented relationships. We have Venus really pushing to make peace with certain circumstances in our lives in order for us to get back to the basic small joys in life. We have Mars over here very aggressive in the mental plane, trying to come up with new ideas, trying to come up with new ways of communicating, trying to come up with just uh, a new inspiration, a new vision. Again, we're in a reinvention, a rebranding, if you will. Now, here's the thing. First of all, this gives us a perfect opportunity to communicate, okay, to reconcile, to have those heart to hearts, because our feminine and masculine energies. And again, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. They're balanced right now. They are equal right now. And what this is creating is, first of all, we're feeling good. We're, we're feeling a little bit friendly, a little bit playful, a little bit flirty. Our interactions, especially our social interactions, are super Super, super easy. They're flowing very nicely. We have a little bit of an urgency to, you know, put ourselves out there. We have a little bit of a urgency to push ourselves forward. What are we pushing ourselves forward to do? Well, to pursue new ideas, to pursue new passion projects, to pursue that new relationship, to pursue that conversation that is going to bring peace to some of the conflict that we've been experiencing. This is a new level of creativity. We have the feminine divine energy really going with the flow, really kind of in touch with her emotions, with in intuition, with inspiration, with uh, creativity. And then, you know, Venus is what? what we need in order to give birth to new ideas, to give birth to new elements, to create something new. And Mars is the driving force that pushes us to be aggressive, to be passionate, to really align with our desires, to stop at nothing in order for us to actually bring said idea, said dream, said inspiration to life. So this is a beautiful energy. Yes, granted, it is happening while well, most of us should be winding down and going to bed. But I would hope that the creative energy, the ideas, the inspiration continues to flow as we move into a dream state. Pay attention to your dreams and what comes up for you in those dreams and just recognize the shift in your energy, the shift in vibration. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you're excited about? What is it that is, you know, being sparked within you? Now, granted, you may not be able to act on it because we are trying to go to sleep here. But at the same time, we're learning a lot by this particular interaction, because for the first time in a long time, we are feeling balanced. We are feeling stable, even though there's really no need for it, right? Not a whole lot has changed in our physical realms in order to create this kind of energy. But you know what? We're riding the wave. We're going to take it as it comes. We are going to make notes of how it is that we're thinking, how it is that we're feeling, what it is that we're excited about, what it is that we feel like we want to pursue. And we're going to actually hold on to that and go into our dreamland, our dream state, asking our higher self, asking our guides, asking the universe to expand on the path and the strategy that we need to be taking in our physical lives in order to align with this spark, with this vision, with this dream, with this new inspiration, to tap into the physical energy, to keep us motivated and determined to see this dream actually come to life.